The National Eczema Association got involved in value assessment back in 2016 when we had a new therapy coming to the market, the first biologic, first in class uh, for um, atopic dermatitis, moderate to severe atopic dermatitis, the most common form of eczema. Uh, prior to that, we had never been involved in value assessment and the therapies available for our community were generally accessible um, and affordable. So um, as this new biologic was making its way to the market, uh, we learned that uh, value assessment uh, was forthcoming and we started to learn up on all that that meant uh, and use primarily the resources of the National Health Council and the toolkit that they had uh, put together back in 2016. The advice I would give to patients and caregivers that are involved in value assessment is to tell your truth, tell your real story. That's all it is. It's your own experience. Now, hopefully, uh, in our experience, we help to guide and prep our uh, participants, our, our patients and caregivers that were involved in the value assessment uh, by writing letters and uh, if they gave testimony. <clears throat> Guiding them, uh, we created a template and format to help them share their story and share the impactful information that we needed to get out to the value assessors that was not necessarily available in clinical trial data or otherwise. So uh, there is a, uh, a little bit of method to the madness, uh, but uh, it's really quite easy in terms of just telling your truth and your story. Absolutely, value assessment is something new. It's complicated. Uh, it's new for me and my organization and um, you know knowing that this is complicated and um, an evolving area for the entire uh, patient community chronic patient community rare patient communities um, and that together we can penetrate how we can advance the patient voice to make the value assessment um, relevant.